understands the significance of this meeting, he'll hear you out. King Or, King Narius. We picked a meeting in place too close to the surface for my liking. You don't recognize the Council of the Kings. Now that it's time, the seven kingdoms were one. Our ancestors gathered here. Lantis sat here at the head of the table. Zebel is always by his side. Brine, fishermen, the deserters and trench had not yet fallen. The lost nation had not yet vanished. Together, they were the greatest empire the world had ever seen. And now, set on Atlan's throne, shackled by archaic laws and politics, while the threat above us grows undeniable. Violence has always plagued the surface. They will destroy themselves, not before destroying us first. We have been hiding long enough. The time has come for Atlantis to rise again. We honor you, King Narius, by inviting Zebel to be the first kingdom to join King Orm's alliance. As if you had a choice, Volko. My lord, you need four of the seven kingdoms to send an attack. The lost nation and the deserters have long perished. The trench are nothing but animals. The brine will never join you, and the fishermen are cowards. Without me and my army to convince them, your plans are still born. But I know what you really want. Once you've obtained the pledge of the four kingdoms, you will be ordained Ocean Master. That is merely a title. I'm no fool, King Warren. As Ocean Master, you'll be commander of the greatest military might on this planet. I am the natural choice to lead it. Are you? What about the rumors that there's another? An Atlantic living among the surface. One of royal blood. You may sit on the throne of Atlantis, but you claim to just weak. How can you possibly hope to unite the Empire? My mother's bastard has never even been to Atlantis. His loyalty is to the sun. I'm not trying to start a war. The war has already begun. Then it's time you send him a message, though, here. 